Are you prepared to see some of the newest games that will be coming to arcades soon? We are at IAPA in Orlando, Florida. IAPA is a yearly convention where manufacturers show off the coolest, newest arcade games to potential buyers. We are lucky enough to have access to this event and we get to share these new games with all of you. There are a ton of great new games this year. There are new games featuring Godzilla, Superman, Spider-Man, Smurfs, and even a toilet. Yes, I said toilet. What the heck is going on? Be sure to leave a comment and let let us know which new games you cannot wait to play. Let's head inside and jump right into it. Whoa, check out this game. It is possibly the best game they have here. Well, the best looking game at least, but unfortunately it's a prototype. It's not even finished. If they make this thing look even better, I don't know what to say, but it is Godzilla versus Kong. Look at that up there. That marquee looks crazy. But yeah, it's gonna have two spots that you're gonna be able to hit. Crystal's gonna have a fist. They did say they're gonna have two fists on one game because there are two areas. So she's gonna be able to hit these, and then you're gonna be able to hit Godzilla right here, or maybe down here in the abs, or maybe up here in the pecs, or the abs and the pecs at the same time. No idea. It looks really cool, but unfortunately we can't play it right now. But you know what is not a prototype? A parallel universe, guys. Check this out. It's like a completely different universe because we're on a flat plane. So how the game works is you press the button, it's gonna drop the ball out of here. You want it to land on here into JP, oh, JP over there, or you wanna land it into one of the letters. So this one needs the B-O-N-U-S. It only needs the S to spell it out. And this is what happens if you land it in jackpot, which we are not doing so far. Someone else just did it before we got here. So if you land it in the one that says JP, you get to come up to here and then you win like bonus tickets. Come on, JP, not 69, nice. All right, let me see if I can get it. Yeah, so once you uh, press start, the plane starts moving sideways. Yeah, so here we go. So my jackpot is right here in the middle. So you gotta, I'm sure there's a timing to it, which obviously I haven't learned the timing. All right, let's see if Chris can get it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's so close. All right, let me try again. It's on this side now. So let's go right about there. Oh, I'm getting better. Oh, Crystal got it, heck yeah. All right, so now it's gonna spin this sucker up. Each color represents a different ticket value. Although right now here at the show, they don't have like the amounts. But I think blue, oh, blue's only 50. I think red, or was it white they said was it? Oh, white was the, okay. Oh, look, this has the bonus. If I get that right there, that gets the S, and I get the 1,000. All right, so I gotta get that B. So where did I drop it last time? I think it was right about there. Come on. No, I wanted the B in, though, because I would've got the bonus. But I did get a spin over here. Let's see what I'm gonna get. Come on. Let's go for green. That's, white, Crystal says, is the worst, which is maybe zero. But we're not gonna find out. Don't. No, we already got blue. No, we got white. I'm, oh, white is zero. No, okay. I'm gonna try one more time. See if I can get this jackpot. Okay, right about there. Oh, oh man, I'm pretty good at getting that timing, but I didn't get it. Oh man, that was, that was Oh yeah. Bad. This game's pretty cool though. It's like so colorful. You might be looking at this game thinking, this isn't new, Angel. Well, the concept isn't new, but on this version, it's called timeout. What you wanna do is you wanna press the button and then you wanna stop the lights back there at 10 seconds exactly. But on this version, if you stop it on like 9.996, I think, or between that and 10, you win a medium prize. So there's more than one way to win on this game. So we're gonna see if the crystal can stop it right on 10, or 9.996 or up, up to 10. All right, so it's gonna stop exactly on 10 for the big prize. Will she make it? A little too early there, but yeah, if she was stop like 9.996 or 9.997, she'd be able to pick up one of these prizes. I don't know if you get to choose or if it does it automatically. Oh, you're going again? Yeah, All right, let's see. I want to get that 10. 9.996 or 10 exactly. I just want to see you win. Oh, oh you are getting closer though. You went up like a hundredth of a second. Maybe Angel can do better. Oh, oh. 9.8. What was yours at? I, I don't know. I it was around 9 there. 9.8 as well. I'm going to try one more time. The timer's actually on the top as well so everybody can see how terrible or how awesome you did. It's getting closer. Oh, 9.90! Nine <laughs> Crystal just has to try one more time. I was so close! Oh man, that's actually pretty far off. Alright, here we go guys. Seven, eight, nine. Oh! You know what, practice, I think we could win this game. Check out this game guys. It's called Dynamic Orbs. And boy are there a lot of orbs in this game. <laughs> So Crystal gets to press the button, drop an orb down. Wherever she gets the ball to land into the stop zones, wherever this red light is around the, the wheel, it'll win that. So if she lands in the stop at some point, right there, she just won, what is it, two tickets? Oh, two, oh, two small balls, nice. 
And then you'll notice there are two zones that have X's and they have a number above it. If she makes a ball in there, she will get the number above it amount of small balls that will drop uh, automatically. It looks really cool. Yeah, you? there's a lot here. Yeah. I want to see you get the one that says prize orb because I think this does this up here. Ooh, the prize orb is up here and I can win some Ooh, other bonuses. Yeah. But yeah, there are actual uh, prize orbs on here already that she can win and get tickets for. Oh, that's good. But we want to see the big one up top. Yeah. All right. Come on. But like, the chances of you getting it to land on the prize orb is not very likely. There's just so. Oh, you're one away on that one. Yeah. So every time you see it flash yellow um, on the wheel back here, it means that Crystal got into the stop, like right there, 12. And then, oh yeah, that's how got the one. Oh, you got 20. Yeah. Oh, you got the 10 and the two small balls up there. Yeah, this is pretty cool though. Okay, I like it. But it seems like so hard to get the prize award. That's what we want to see. Well, these, they do. I don't know how you get more of these though. Yeah. Because we haven't seen more fall out yet. Well, maybe I feel like putting a certain amount. Yeah, that makes the most sense. But yeah, they have different values on here. Like that one's 500, that's 100, that's 50. Yeah. It doesn't look like we're going to get the prize award. We, just because we don't get it here doesn't mean we won't get it out in the wild whenever we see this somewhere. All right, come on. Prize orb? Prize orb? Yeah, these are still free balls that Crystal got. Ah, I guess 15 tickets and then like three more small balls. Oh, this game looks cool too. It's called Dragon's Bane. We've actually played a version of this game before, but this one's been modified. It looks extra clean. So like it just shoots the coin and you want to make it into the loot over there. Every time she makes it in there, it's shooting a uh, cannon over here and it's going to hit something. So right there she has uh, 25 tickets, 24 tickets. Hey, what's that mystery one? Oh, mystery 38 tickets. Try to get the dragon in the back, Chris. I know you really can't control it. Wait. You hit the you hit the port on it. Drop the ball. Oh, you get a, oh, whenever you're ready to drop it. Oh, yes. Yeah. So whenever it hits back here, if it hits like the portal, it's going to give you whatever it's on with the arrows pointing at. So can you actually time it to make it go back there every time, I wonder? Yeah, you can. No, not this part. I'm talking about the screen. Yeah, I should be watching you, but I'm watching the screen. <laughs> Yeah, but she can time it when she wants to press the ball because that thing's constantly moving. She, oh, she got like a bonus game. Oh, look at this! I forgot what happens. What happens when you get one of these balls over? Oh, yeah, it does this part up here. I remember now. Yeah, so she have to keep playing until we get one of these balls over. You know, if you do it just right, you can get two to go in there at one time. Oh, did you? Oh, you missed those. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, you got a ball over. All right. So she got one of the balls over. Let's see what it does here. Um, it's going to do it in a second, I hope. It didn't do anything. Oh, there it is. Okay. So she has to get five balls over. She needs one more. And the ball's right here. Just rapid fire this, Chris. Let's see if we can. Oh, you got it. Nice. All right. So now she has five balls. All right. Give us the treasure bonus. All gins. We're going to go up here. Oh, yeah. It's doing like a whole celebration. Treasure bonus. All right, how much can we get on the treasure bonus, Chris? All right, I see. Do you get to press it or not? No, it does it by itself. All right, so it says, okay, now you get to launch it. All right, she launched it. I don't know what happened. Hey, so you could have gotten 80, 50, 200. So you get the second best. 120. Wait, is that going to be 120? It's going to shoot out? You get 120, you would have got 1,800 tickets. It's going to shoot out 120 coins, I believe. Oh, that's cool. I totally forgot it did that. Wow. Yeah, this game's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Get all the balls. Make all the balls fall. <laughs> no, you're running out of coins. Oh, my God. No, come on. Oh, uh, You know what? This one only needs one more blue ball. I'm going to get this last ball real fast to see if I can get a higher one up here than Crystal did. I'm not here to play no games. I'm rapid firing. <laughs> ring, 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 ring. I, I got it. <laughs> That's all I needed was the one more ball. Heck yeah, alright. I got the all gyms required screen. Give me all the balls and I'm gonna get the spin up here, guys. We're aiming for 200. 3, 2, 1. Okay, I'm gonna press it when it's on the two, three, uh, 200, right? About there. It was on 200 when I pressed it. Wait a second. Wait. Hey, I got it. I got the 200. I mean, it is probably different here at the show than it would be out in the wild. But hey, I got 200 there, and we're gonna see these all shoot rapid fire speed. It's really cool though. 3,000 tickets. All right, how many balls can I get over here with this uh, 200? There's one. 
Can I get four more? Come on, four more and I'll get another spin and I will have to, I have to watch that again. No, please, please. Come on, oh, uh, did you call it Dumbo? I believe, yes, that one is not a Dumbo. Come on, get this one, please. Yes, oh, I only got three. Come on, give me more. Oh, anyway guys, we're gonna go play something else, but that's just a Dragon's Bane, it's pretty cool. Oh, check this game out, it's called Cosmic Spire. It might look familiar, because we have played a version of this game in the past. You want to get these balls over the edge though, because then it goes up this Cosmic Spire. Make it all the way to the top, with the Super Bonus! Well, if you get to the Super Bonus, oh, I should say that. Alright, so she has a couple balls down here. It does take them a while to get over. Okay, so she got a ball there. Three balls. Make that four balls. <laughs> and she's still shooting out balls right there. But yeah, it's got a whole game back here. You want to get them into like the balls or the other slots. But the part that we really want to see is the part over here. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so she got a ball. Oh, you only got 40 tickets. You have to go into the up. Can she go into the up now? Come on. Hey, she got one up. All right, so she's going to go to the second level. Hey, you're in party time, Chris. All right. So she has one right here that is, I think that one to the up. This one's right here. And she has one on the third one. What the heck? You have one on the first, the second, and the third. What's that one going over there? Oh, she only got 50. What about this one? Uh, I think that one went up to uh, only 30 or 50. You're still in party time again? There's just, there's just so much going on here, guys. Come on, don't go to 30. What's the next one? Is that up? Yeah, we're going up again. Yeah, so you want to make it all the way to the top and then get to that one that says super bonus. All right, we have two over here, Chris. Can we go into the up? Up, up? No, no, no. Don't, not 60. Hey, at least you got another up on this one. Dang it. You already made it to the third's the highest right now. Hey, you got another one to go into the up. But yeah, on the game back here, it plays like a lot of the drop games, you know? You just drop a coin, make it to the slots back here. We, you either win tickets or you win more coins that will drop, I guess, for free out the back back there. It's all about the balls, so. though. All right, come on. Can we get the ball? How many balls do you have down here? What the heck? I really can't believe she has so many balls there. All right, so we want the up. Can we come into the up now, please? Um, do not go into that 30. If it goes into that 30, I'd be so upset. All right, so that one down there only got 40. That one got up, so that's gonna go to the third level. These balls are still just jammed down there. Hey, that one went instantly into the up. Oh. All right, come on. Can she make it to the up? Up, up. It's like a humongous cake. Up, cake. up. Oh, uh, yes, here. made it to the up there. Sorry, what'd you say, Chris? It's a humongous cake. A <laughs> uh, humongous cake? Yeah. I think Chris was hungry. Chris, are you hungry? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. It's okay to be hungry. I'm hungry too, all the time. All right, so we got 150 on that one. No, we're not making it up. We're stuck back like, down here. I want to make it up here to that super bonus, but I don't think we're going to make it. Hopefully, we find this out in a while, though, because this will be really fun to try to get up there. Come on, we have one last ball. This is going to go into the up. If it goes into the up, we're watching it. We're going to... Okay, it made it to the up. Let's see. Can we get past the third level, guys? All right, so it's not going to make it to that up. Where's the next up, Chris? Way over here. Oh, that's not good. If it doesn't make it to the up, we're done. No. <laughs> not going to make it into the up. Uh, well, we can't come into the up now, but we can go to a new game. Step in, Angel! It's going to be a bumpy ride. We don't usually play mini racing games, but look how big this one is. It's called Bigfoot Mayhem, and it looks crazy. And he's off. Oh, my gosh. Look at the wheels. It looks so crazy. I think, oh, thank goodness Angel put that seatbelt on, because it is going to be a bumpy ride. Uh, <laughs> it's a bumpy ride for real. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's driving in the no! Oh my gosh, with a big truck with huge wheels! It's a monster truck! <laughs> yeah, it's a monster truck! Oh my gosh! It does look super cool. I love the monster truck wheels. It looks awesome! Uh oh, Angel just activated boost mode. Oh my gosh! I mean, Emma Angel is having a blast. Oh, so far I think Angel's in first place! What the heck is going on in this game? It's called Goats and Ropes. Uh, this, I guess this is the goat and that's the rope. So Crystal is the blue person. So she needs to go faster, a lot faster. He's dipped, oh my gosh, he left you in the dust. He's way up there. You gotta go to the side faster, Chris. Come on. Oh man, you're not nearly fast enough. You are a slow goat, Chris. The game's already over and you're still pulling it. Now Angel's gonna try and let's see how good Angel is. <laughs> 
You have to be really concentrated because you have to hit the button. Make sure you don't hit the spiky rock. Come on, Angel! <laughs> Man, you get winded at this game. All right, so now Chris was playing up again. So in the game, what happens is as you pull this rope, your goat is moving, but you'll notice that there are obstacles in the way. So Chris will have to push to like either the left or right. Oh, let's see if I can get right here. Oh man, Chris, you're losing. Oh, you're losing. Oh, yeah, so it's a race all the way to the front. I think every time you do like, oh, oh man, you really are a slow goat. You know, some people might say this game is the Best game here at the convention. <laughs> what do you think I was about to say, Chris? I don't know. So in this game, what you have is a toilet bowl. It's called toilet bowl toss. You have some turds right here, and you're trying to throw them into the toilet. But look, it got harder. The lid is now down. Oh, but wait till it gets even harder in a second. You gotta be very accurate with these turds. Oh, Crystal, can you make it? You don't have much time left. Come on. You know what? I think you only have like two seconds left. No, come on, time, time. What do you call them? This is more like rabbit turds. Get out of here. They're not pork chop turds. All right, so she got 30 tickets. So what you want to do is make as many balls as you can into the toilet. And depending on how many balls you make, like, you know, determines how many tickets you get. Though the cool thing about this game is, though, you can just grab as many balls as your hands can hold and just toss them. It keeps track of your score over there. So right now she's only at 13 poops. Keep going, Chris. Keep going. You still have plenty of time. You have half your time left. You got a lot of poop over on this side, Chris. Let me put all this poop over there for her. She's not reaching it. And the balls are actually like weighted a little bit. So they have some weight to them. No, come on, keep going, keep on. You got <laughs> she got some sinker turds. Oh, no, that's how you only got 29 balls. It's still 30 tickets though. Oh, I just noticed it says, don't forget to wipe over there with some toilet paper. Angel's about to throw some turds around. Let's see if he can get more than 30 tickets. Whoa, he just threw so many. Holy moly, he's grabbing them by so much. So many balls. <laughs> Angel's definitely gonna get a better score than I am. Oh! Come on, Angel, hurry, get some more in there! He says hurry up! He's at 36 balls so far. <laughs> oh, game over. Hey, Whoa! I'm, 40. I'm better at throwing my poop. Whoa, check this out, guys. It's a robot claw machine. It's JJ Bot. It has a face on it. Look at his face. It was just sad there for a second ago, but yeah, it's called JJ Bot the Avatar. All right, it has a face on it, guys. There's never been a claw machine with a face until today. All right, she's going for this 300 right in the middle. Oh, wait a second. I don't know. I don't know how strong it is. Very strong. Oh, dang I thought it had it, but it let go at the last second. What are you doing? Stop raising your hands so that we don't got anything. Now you're just taunting us that we didn't win. Now Angel's going to give it a try. Oh, which one is he gonna go for? Go for this hundred. All right, going for a hundred. Will he be able to get it though? Come over here and look. Oh, oh, cool. Grab that hundred. Oh, this looks like a really good grab. There's no way that's gonna drop it. Look at that. It knows it's happy. Yeah. You better give me my hundred tickets. Yeah, go ahead, race it to the roof. Let everybody yeah, see that I won. There. This game does flash a lot though. Watch yes. this, it's about to go crazy, guys. Oh, too much flashing. Flashing warning. Ah! Oh my, I can't even look at it, I'm having, oh man. <laughs> hey, 100 tickets. Krista wants to try again. She's not gonna leave empty handed here. I think she's going for like this bunch in this area right here. Can you, you could probably get that 300 pretty well. I don't know if you're gonna get this, Chris, but you wanna check the side before you go down? Because I think you're trying to go into it or you're trying to grab the whole thing. Oh, she's trying to grab the whole thing. Okay. I mean, I think you need to go more to the right, but let's see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, she's inside the hundred. Oh, I don't know about that. Hold on. Get to him. Beat me. Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure this is going to drop it. Oh, it dropped it. She's going one more time, guys. She's not going to leave empty-handed. She's going to best me, she says. I think she's going for something over here. It's kind of hard to see which one. What is this thing saying to me? Push the button. I don't need to push the button. She needs to push the button. Oh, she's going for the 150. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look at that face, guys. That is the face of disappointment. <laughs> I didn't even grab it. They stopped smiling at us. We didn't win. Oh, check out this game, guys. It's da -da -da -da, Superman. So, in this game, what you get to do is you got to 
press on Superman's chest right here. Well, maybe not his chest, but you know what I'm saying. And you're gonna drop a puck back there. You wanna make it try to land into the green if you can, but it's not really a, hey, you almost made it. It's not really a skill base, but if she makes it to the left or the right, it's like doing like a fortress bonus or something. And she can get pucks that fall over here and they'll line up right here. I think if you get them all filled up, you will get the, the fortress bonus of 100. At least I think so. Yeah, it is Plinko, like she said, so you don't really know where it's going to go. You can kind of get it to go where you want it to go, but not from what we've seen. I don't know what all these down here do, though. Like, all the different um, stuff do. It doesn't collect all the cards, but there's no cards currently in this version. Maybe at some point there will be cards, or at some somehow you'll be able to win cards. Yeah, see, because you're getting them to line up here, and it's giving you some tickets. But we did find, if you can get it into the green, it will come down. And wherever this is currently like us uh, at, you win that many tickets. Oh look, you got minus one puck. Oh, I guess because you got the green ones to come over. Oh, what's this? You got a villain attack. I don't know. Hey, you got one. Hey, you got a hundred. <laughs> she finally made one in there, and I almost missed it. <laughs> I feel like it's super, super hard to make it in there. Let's see. Come on. Huh? Uh, she dropped, how many, hey, you got another, what's it gonna be? 500! Who is this guy? I don't know who this is, but you guys probably let us know. Yeah, so maybe at some point that will be where you get the cards or something. We don't know. We just like to press the button a lot here. All right, get one more, Chris, come on. You can get one more in the next two pucks, you're the best. Oh, uh, uh, you didn't get one more in the next two pucks, Chris. But yeah, it looks like every time you get Superman, it's gonna fill it up or something. Don't ask me, I don't know the rules. Sure, if you guys wanna stop it right here and look at the rules, you can. But it does say you can retrieve cards. There aren't currently any cards coming out, but maybe in the future they'll have cards. I'll uh, check out this game, guys. It's called Ball Zania. Crystal's over here, throwing some balls like crazy. Ooh! Oh, man, you almost made that. So she has a ball and a plunger right here. She hits the ball, ball goes up, ball wins tickets. Well, that's more, she wants to do more than just that. Hey, get number one. If you get number one, she'll win this bonus right here. So in this game, what she wants to do, there are like three bonus games. There's the multi-ball action, which drops all the balls once you collect five of them. Then there's the line bonus, which you can get at any time if you get a ball up there. But she really wants to get the party time. So if she can get the ball to go right to party time, oh, and then go all the way across whenever that thing is perfectly flat. And land in party time is a lot, I know. She can get to a party time, which is pretty cool. Right now, it looks like she's going for multi-ball action or party time. All right, two more for multi-ball action. <laughs> Party time, yes. Oh, you got into 100 tickets. We really wanted to go on that one, that one, or the uh, the pink one. Because the pink one, if she collects it five times, she gets that bonus up there. Come on, get the one. Get the multi-ball. Oh, here we go. Oh, but you got to time it with where that thing is currently spinning, and she did it. Oh, she got another blue one. The blue is not what we want, unfortunately. Yes. Oh, no. It's pretty fun, but it's definitely challenging. Yeah, so every time my ball goes down here, she wins tickets as well. Whatever it currently shows up there. Try to get the multi-ball. You only need one more for it. Yeah, so it's going to drop all five of those balls. Hey, she got 100 tickets. Get a one. Ah, oh, so she got one over. She got a few over here, but she got one up here. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, man. Yeah, if she collects party time five times, it does like a whole thing where this right here will stay flat. And like every time you make it into party time over there, it instantly goes over there. It's really hard to get party time though, as you can tell. Or we're just really bad at it, I don't know. Maybe I should play a, a couple. What do you think, Chris? You know what, get the multi-ball one more time and then I'll try. Yeah, cause you can guarantee get that one. That's like, you just gotta pull back as far as you can. All right, get the one and you'll get the line bonus. Yes, you got it, yeah. So that's every time she collects one of these, it lights up one of these over here. You can see that one needs the one, the six and the seven. Now it's a clear board. Let's see if I can make it into party time. Now he's just trying it. Hopefully he can get some party time. <laughs> it's all about timing it though. It's kind of hard to time it, but once you get it, I'm sure it's fairly easy, maybe. Oh, oh yeah, party time! Oh man! Come on, where's he gonna go? Oh, it didn't go inside the wheel! He's pretty good at getting it into party time, but oh, he got a party time! Yes, yes, he got it! So it lights it up right here. He needs three more though. Oh yeah, party time! Oh, I didn't make it to the wheel. So he has to get this party time, and then hopefully get into the wheel and then get that 
party time. That's gonna be a party time right here. Oh no, the multi ball. Oh no. Oh man. It's hard to get that ball into the wheel. Oh, 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 but it landed into the hundred. This game is really hard. Yeah, you have to time it perfectly. Uh oh, Angel's got some competition on Bop It. So Bop It actually has a multi player feature here, which is really cool. Usually when we see it, it's only like a single player game, but hopefully Angel beats I'm gonna them. Be all of them. Yes, I'm he's going to beat all of them. <laughs> Everyone go ahead and put down your votes. Who's going to win? I still see the competition, guys. This guy doesn't look nervous. This guy definitely doesn't look nervous. Neither does this one. Uh oh, it's getting really fast, guys. Angel's concentrating so hard right now. Oh, who won? Got it. Who won? Bonus round, though. Go get that. Bonus round. <laughs> Come on, Jonah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this guy it. is not oh, safe. Oh my gosh! I think oh. the last <laughs> <laughs> check out this game, guys. It's sink pong. What you have to do? Wait for these to get all synced up, so you can drop the ball straight down into the star. Can Crystal do it? Ooh. Oh, you made it through one. So you get 10 tickets. So if you make it through more of them, you can see the ticket value goes up. I don't know what happens if you actually, it says land in the star to win the bonus. Okay. All you gotta do is land in it one time. It, look, it says times, so maybe they can change it to where you get to make it in there more than one time. All right, let's see, can she sing it? Oh, two that, two that time, third time. She's gonna make it through three of them. All right, here we go. Can she make it into the star? Uh, here we go. Wait, did you make it into there? No, no, I oh, you make? Okay, one more time, Chris. You've made it through one ring. You've made it through two rings. You've now accomplished three rings. But can you get the very hard one to be a big star? You know, it's actually interesting. I don't think you actually have to go straight down to get the star. It could probably bounce around and go in there. Yeah, she makes tickets based on what it goes out back there. All right, I want to play this side and see if I can make it down at least one ring. Let's see how well Angel can do. Waiting for it to line up. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> but he only made it into one. Hey, look, first place, only one ring. Let's do this, Angel. Making it to two at least this time. Whoa, oh, oh I wanted to. I failed. I'm not playing again. Whoa, check out this game, guys. It's called Zombies. Ready, daddy, go. And this is one of Crystal's favorite kind of games. So you just roll the balls up here. You know, we want to get in the far back holes if you can. And the, like the further back you get, the more points it's worth. It makes your zombie run faster on the screen. You know, normally you see this with like horses at like carnival games or like some kind of animal, camels or something. All right, so I think I will try to play on the green one. Crystal's gonna try playing on Coco. Hey, you're Coco and I'm Dizzy. All right, so everybody cheer for Team Dizzy. Ready, daddy, go. Yeah, so we just gotta throw them back there. Try to make them into the red ones because they're worth more. They, the red one says run. The orange one says jog, and then the white says walk. And right now, Crystal is killing me so bad. Well, actually, I think I think I'm in the lead. I'm in the lead with, with one hand, Chris. Look at this, one-handed. I'm just throwing two balls at a time. It gives you so many balls. You call me a loser? Why would you say that? Oh no, you won. Wait, is the game over? Wait, is the game over? I'm still going. I thought you won. It said you first place. Wait, it's still going. Maybe there's rounds to it. Hey, why is that mouth moving in the back? What is that mouth about? Wait, I'm in first place now. Wait, I think I won. I think I won. It's because I tricked you and I said you won. Uh, why does that look like Cynthia? Oh, man. This is a really fun game. It's funny because Crystal just said, hey, you had one more ball than me. All right, this time it's going to be fair. We want Cynthia over here. Whoa, Crystal's already going. Okay, we want me to win, not Crystal. Oh man, Crystal got a lot of reds over there. Oh. I'm, yeah, I am. I'm, not, I'm watching your side. I'm not even watching my side. I'm just throwing these balls as fast as I can. Right now, I don't know who's winning. Oh, it says back there, I'm in fourth place. Oh yeah, so it actually does keep telling you. That's pretty cool. Pretty, hey, I'm in first now. I don't know how it happened. It's not gonna last too long, I don't think. Oh no, I'm in last now. Oh no, now you're losing. Oh, 
Come on, make all the reds. I don't know, why is the mouth back there chomping? I don't understand. Who won? Oh, I think Crystal won by a lot. No way, really? Oh wait, did you, no you didn't win, did you? Is that Coco? Why does it look purple? Well, okay, Crystal's the winner, Crystal won. Oh, I came in third place, I did so bad. I don't think you guys are ready for what I'm about to show you next. Do you know what this little blue character is called, Chris? It's a little smurf! Yes, it is a smurf, but wait until you see the smurf games we gotta show you. Oh, check it out, here is the smurf game. It is a pusher! It is a smurf's coin pusher, guys. And, wait, what is that? Did you notice anything? Yes, I noticed something. That back platform's not moving because there is a pause pusher button, guys. I don't know how long it lasts. Let's just press it and uh, let's like right there. It does like automatically start by itself again. I just don't know how much time it will take. I think it's like five or 10 seconds. I'm only pushing the point button now. Yeah, and, but eventually it will start pushing by itself again. Or there it goes. What's it about 10 seconds? Yeah. Or she can like press it and then do it again. Yeah. But there's also this feature in the back. Every time she shoots out a coin, you know it's right beneath the, uh, whatever that smurf name is. Is that rainy? Yeah, right beneath that one, there are little, like, notches. So if she goes enough, like, so every time I push one, you'll see he'll move a little bit. So if I move, like, all the way over to that gap, all the way at the end, eventually, because I'm rapid firing right now, what, it, what it's going to do is it's going to give us a spin on the wheel back there. I think I need, like, four more coins. Let's see. Let's get four more coins and see if we can get this spin here. Come on. Yeah, we're actually getting some progress on here, but we're not really worried about that. All right, so she got the gift, and now she's gonna do a spin. On the spin, you can get more tickets, or you can get more coins, or you can get a ball. Please get the ball. Oh, I was really hoping. So the ball, it can actually vent out balls over here, and they have collectible figures inside the ball. Yeah, those are really cool. Which is pretty cool. You know, when we first looked at the game, we're like, wait a second, how are the balls gonna come out? Because there's nowhere for the balls to go. But the balls will automatically get like sent down there. Yeah, because we actually did see somebody get the ball over there and it went straight down. You can't actually open it because they have them closed here at the show. Yeah. But how cool is this? A Smurf coin pusher. Oh, cool. I missed it. Yeah, you guys might be wondering, is there a rare card? <laughs> yes. Which one do you think it is of these? Is it this guy or is it this one? It's probably this one that's red. <laughs> So apparently Papa Smurf is supposed to be the rare one in the set. At least that's what we were told. I mean, we don't know until you actually find out in the wild. But yeah, get another gift. I want to see if you can get a, uh, another spin back there. This is really cool. I can't wait to play this in an arcade. All right, she got a spin. Here we go. She collects the gift. She, what is that one's name? You said Brainy? No, I was wrong. I don't know what it's Oh, I actually name. don't know the Smurf name. Guessing. All right, let's get the rare card or the bin. Got 20 tickets. But yeah, I can say for sure. When we see this game out in the wild, we are definitely gonna play it and try to win as much as we can. But wait, the Smurf action is not done yet. There is a Smurf claw machine too. I mean, sure, you can put Smurfs in any claw machine, right? But look at this in the back. They have a whole screen showing different stuff. I don't know what the timer's talking about back there, but maybe you get some kind of bonus of some kind. Brainy? Oh man, I know it's not very smart. That it didn't grab it. Come on, you gotta go for Papa Smurf. That's where you gotta go. Everyone knows it. I feel like that screen back there is for the uh, pusher back there. But it actually, does show you your time and it's using the uh, present as a uh, indication. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Oh, more like stabby. Oh yeah, we're not gonna win from the Smurf machine, but it is pretty cool how themed out it is. So this isn't a new game, but they have reskinned Red Zone Rush with Looney Tunes theming. How cool is that? Come on, Wiley. Wiley, oh, why he not let us win? Well, you can't actually win the cards here at the show. They had the card ball hidden over there, but here are all the cards that you can get. So we have Bugs, Roadrunner, Foghorn, Leghorn, or Leghorn, Foghorn, I don't remember. Tweety, you got all the characters here. They're pretty cool. I would totally want the Roadrunner. Oh, a good one. I want the big. I want the person. Come on. These are really cool cards. I have to give Bugs a try here. Let's go for the D. Come on. Bugs. Touchdown. Let's go Touchdown. Bugs. 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 <laughs> Bugs. Bugs. What is this? this? This thing bugs me. Oh, this is definitely a new game. It's called Mallet Mayhem. Look, they have Harley Quinn up here, and you're going to whack this Joker yeah. in the face. Although, I don't think Harley Quinn would whack Joker, right? That doesn't make sense. It's a pretty cool looking like whack em game though. So her score is being kept over there. Hey, Chris, are you cheating? Yeah, I'm not cheating. Who told you that? I don't see anyone telling you to use your hand. Yeah, so you just whack them as they come up. The one in the middle though, sometimes will come on and you whack that one over and over. Oh my, 
Yo, Mike, keep whacking it. Keep whacking it. No, you're whacking it. Only the orange ones. No, only the orange ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Come on, you have 53. Come on, more. Come on, come on. 56, more, more. Oh, that one went too fast. All right, well, you guys score 56. Let's just say that gave you 150 imaginary points. Oh yeah, Spider Man is here at the show. So, this is a brand new game, but it's definitely the first time it's ever been here at this show. And it is really fun. You guys know we love this game. If you haven't seen the videos where we played just this game, go check them out. They're fun. But yeah, you get to shoot out all the coins, Spider-Man style, back in the back. Yay, you made it, yay. All right, so she wants to get these big balls over. Okay, it's gonna be the rapid auto shot. It's doing it automatically, guys. I'm telling you, this is like, it's one of my favorite pushes I have. Come on, get the, just get one of them. We gotta try one time. Come on, yes. We got one ball. We get, if we get one more, that'd be cool too. Come on. Ah, oh, we're gonna get the next one. But now, since we got that big ball over, we're gonna get to go to the big ball game. Let's see, this thing is moving very quick. She wants to make it into super bonus. All right, so let's see if she can get the timing for the super bonus. Come on, go in. That's about where it was. Oh wait, that thing's moving. Yay! You look like you've played this game before, Chris. All right, so now it's gonna go into this super bonus. And she wants to try, oh, the super spin. She wants to land on super bonus to win the bonus of a thousand. All right, so it's gotta be the gold one. Oh, gold, gold. Ah. We can't even get the super bonus here at the show where it's free to play, come on! I bet you've heard of Tic-Tac-Toe, but you've never heard of tic shack toe Look at that, guys! It has Shaq, the, the basketball player, in case you guys don't know who that is. So it's a basketball game mixed with Tic-Tac-Toe. All right, so we're gonna do like a two player. Yeah, Chris was gonna be X's, I'm gonna be O's, or red versus blue. Who's gonna go first? Oh, X is gonna go first. So wherever she makes it in, will turn into an X. Or well, if she makes one in. Oh man, she might get an X and get disqualified. All right, so she made one there. So now I can make one right into the same one she made if I'm good, or I can go for another one. I'm gonna try to go for the one that she made because it will take over her spot. And the bad thing is, if you make it into the same color that you made before, like if I make it into this one, it will stay there and take my turn, which is terrible. So I don't wanna lose my turn, so I'm trying to go for crystals. Yeah, so watch this. Now that's my spot, Chris, what are you gonna do? You could go for that one, or you could try to go for mine, like that. Let's see, we're just having a battle here. Look. Oh man, let me uh, put more art to it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was that was perfect. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so now I either need to go for the top one or for one of crystals. I'm gonna go for crystals. Yeah. What are you gonna do now, Chris? Come on. No, oh, he's not gonna make it. Oh, yes. Oh, you. See, you can win up there. I'm gonna go for this one because I'll win if I make it. Yeah! <laughs> Tick shack toe sucker! <laughs> this looks super cool. It is a Godzilla VR. It's been like really busy the last couple days that we've been here, so we haven't had a chance to actually do it. But you have like a whole gun, you have the VR headset, it's constantly moving like crazy. Look what they're seeing, guys. They're literally trying to destroy Godzilla. This game looks so cool. We're gonna have to try it at some point while we're here. We can't really show us playing it because, you know, it's a VR game. But I'm telling you, the Godzilla games here at the show this year, I think they might be the best. This game looks cool as well. It's called Dracons or Dracons Realm Keepers. And check it out. It's like fully moving and everything. Have a gun as well. So you're flying on the back of it, like, I guess it's a dragon, right? And you're trying to destroy all the other stuff. But it looks so colorful. I like the flame on the back. And look how big the screen is. It's ginormous. Oh, check out this pusher, guys. It's called Tata Island. I wonder what Tata means. Because it's not like a person. I would say Tata's Island. It just says Tata Island. But maybe it's called Tata because the coins go ta 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 as they go down. I don't know. We've actually seen this pusher before. I don't know if this was actually the name of it when we saw it. But what you have to do is you want to you know, drop the coins back there, but there are wheels that are constantly rotating and each one has like a different symbol and each symbol means something different every time you get in there. Yeah, there's a lot going on. And it's constantly building a tower over here yeah. based on what you win back there. And then there's coins over here falling for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, this tower is so far. I think to get the tower the highest, it can go up to 150 layers. Like, like a Shrek. It's got layers to this thing, guys. So many layers to the game. We're gonna win this though, all right? We're gonna try to see what's going on. I don't know what the boats do end up doing. I don't know. 
but it does look fun. I think it's cool that it's constantly building the tower. Yeah. Oh, so that we don't have to wait for the tower to build all at once. It's yeah, just it doing it. It's like slowly building it. Yeah. Come on, Crystal, win it. Win it. Right here, come on. Please. Oh, it's so close. I hope we see this one somewhere in the wild. Oh. Okay, the next one. This is going to be it. Watch. Here we go, guys. You're going to see the first big tower. That, that was, was awesome. beautiful. Yeah, and then it has like, I don't know what this is doing. But you know what? We're not here to learn it. We're just here to look at it and admire all of it. Yay, it does look really cool. Fun, though. Yeah, I love the colors of it. I can totally see this at an arcade with all these towers filled up. One really big tower and we get it knocked over and get all the tickets. Because as far as I'm aware, all the ones that fall over here do give you tickets. It doesn't say coins over, at least I don't see it. Do you see anywhere it says it? It probably says somewhere that coins over win tickets because it makes sense that you would. But yeah, we're definitely gonna play this if we ever see it out in the wild. There's so many balls there. I don't know if you guys know, but we are suckers for golden eggs. So this is a really big version of Find a Key. It's Find a Key Deluxe. Look at the size of these eggs. So normally a golden egg is like, you know, the small little ones that you get for Easter. This is like a medium size. I don't know what kind of chicken is laying these eggs. But I need to own one. Oh, maybe it's a goose egg, kind of like Willy Wonka. Yeah. But yeah, inside the eggs, they're mostly like low-end prizes, but in some of them, there will be keys to open up this. I mean, here at the show, there probably aren't keys in there because nobody wants to give away a Nike, but I do want it, please. Hello, it's not opening. But yeah, I can't wait until we can find one of these out in the wild so that we can try to find a key. Man, it looks like somebody won a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, because everyone just plays for free. Let me see if I can actually win one. I'm gonna try for this one. Right up there. I don't need luck. I don't need luck. I have a certain set of skills. Okay, I have a certain set of skills for a different game. This game looks interesting. It's called Monster Warfare. Not gonna lie, I had some difficulty reading that when I was looking at it very quickly. But it looks like all she has to do is hit these monsters and it will knock it down and you get the points that's shown up on there right there. So the yellow ones are worth 20, the reds are worth 10, and the blues are worth 30. Oh man, that one's worth 50. Oh, but you didn't get it. But it looks like how this game is gonna work is what you're gonna end up doing is probably selecting a gift and it'll be one of these up here, right? So like you'll pick a number and it'll probably have a certain uh, point value. And then you gotta try to like get the points, right? Yeah. Here at the show, it's not really set up that way, but I think that's how it's gonna work, but bam. Bam! 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 This is monster warfare! <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to show it though because it's pretty cool. I've never seen like a, a version of a game like this where cool. you're trying to collect them. We've seen like different ones, you know, like uh, where it has like in the back and it's just like really flat. But this one you can play on all the sides. It has like what, four different sides? And it's pretty cool. Hey, how do you win the Squishmallow? You probably need so many tickets. This has got to be the world's largest duck catcher, guys. It's called the King Size duck catcher Whoa. it's constantly moving the claw oh, doesn't ever make it i thought it's gonna stop honestly <laughs> oh man look at this thing it's so big there's like life-size ducks in this machine look at the size of this game guys wait you already got one i haven't even shown it yet it's kind of weird to look at it from up here because the top platform is going that way but then there's a platform underneath it that's spring the other way to kind of look like water yeah. but these are ducks it's kind of like tower of tickets but you're winning ducks instead ducks yeah, each duck has a different ticket value. It shows over there. The gold one's worth a thousand. Oh, I was trying to go oh. for the gold. Hey, the blue one's worth five hundred. Let's go! But it's like a really big tower of tickets. Like it's so big. It's so cool. I love the colors. All right, she's going for the gold. Gold duck. Gold duck. Gold. Hey, you got the gold duck. <laughs> That's the most valuable one. All right, we don't need to play this game ever again. We we just got the biggest value ever. Wow, check out this booth, guys. It's so colorful. If you have ever seen our videos from Singapore at Cal Play Kamu, this is like the same brands that they use. It has like all these in sync, like top part, like uh, display marquees. It's always so cool because whenever we went over there, it all flashes and it's really cool. But they have a booth here. This wasn't here last year. Hey, we played this game before. So all you gotta do is uh, put a credit on. And what happens is all you gotta do is pick up these uh, little, what are they? No, they're um, ball bearings that are magnetic, yes. <laughs> So it, ma it magnetizes to them. It's gonna drop over there. And I think this one, all the holes count. Because we're here at the show, they want you to kind of win. And then they're gonna go into that one. They have to all make it into the right hole, which I don't know which one it is. Honestly, it's probably all of them in this case. But we don't know. But if it makes it to the right ones, oh, it goes down to the next one. And then in that one, oh wait, actually some of them did come back down here. So they're not all winners? Oh wait, oh, so if this one lands, come on, this could be. <laughs> well, a lot of people have gotten a win. Yeah, all those balls on there aren't supposed to be down there. 
got a winner! But yeah, so if we were in an arcade, that's how you would win. So yeah, that's really cool. Hey, this is one of these uh, ball ones where you gotta uh, try to get it into uh, the uh, spinning thing. I love these games. Yeah, they're fun. I wonder if I can get one in there. So all I gotta do is pick up the ball. Once I get the ball, it's just gonna go back there and drop it back there. It needs to come into the, oh, oh. Okay, let's try that one more time. <laughs> let's try that one more time. If I can't do it here, then forget this game. All right, first I gotta pick up a ball. It's gonna hold on to it. Okay, now it has to drop it. Okay, please go into a hole. It has to go into the, the. Oh, oh. oh, I think this ball is actually too big to go into the hole. Just look how colorful all this is. It's so colorful. It's so fun. Like, it looks amazing. There's no words to describe all this color. We totally need some of these at our house, guys. Like, we need like all these machines with all these different signs, but we don't have the space for it. So we better walk away very slowly. Do you have the skill to make it fall? It's the revolution. So we've all seen this game. Hey, that was actually a winner. But what this game is, if you've never seen it, is you just have to press the button and this arrow's gonna go down and it will, you want to aim for the clips that have prizes on it. Oh, Crystal went for the Hot Wheels. <laughs> that prize, I don't think it's supposed to be that far up. But yeah, if you hit it with on one that has a prize on it, you hit that clip, it will drop the prize into the prize shoot. Although in this case, eh, we're not gonna win anything anyway because we're here, at, we're showing the game off. But yeah, there are so many versions of this game here. Not necessarily like the same company that's making it. Hey, you got it! But there's like so many knockoffs of this game. I don't even know who made the original one yeah. at this point. But this is the version that we played called Skillfall. Ooh, what is this over here? We gotta try this one, Chris. All right, yeah, because this one has an uh, actual plush in it. This is what we want to win if we could ever win. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no, that's what we always do. <laughs> we always land right in the middle. Oh, this game looks fun. It's called World Football Pro. And all you gotta do is go head to head with a, uh, probably not a professional goalie. Get past them, make some points. It's very similar to the uh, Simpson soccer and the, what was it, the Minion soccer, where you just gotta, they will move a little bit while you're playing it and you wanna try to make it. Let's see if I can make one. This one's actually not working currently. Let's see if I can make it by it. Bam! Oh man, he's too good. Or I'm too bad. Let's try one time. Bam! Oh, goal! I'm, okay, I don't even need to play this game. I'm too good at it. Crystal wants to give it a try, the one, the one that is working. Let's see, can she make a goal? Oh. Kind of missed the goal there. That's what I did. I completely missed it. Yeah, so she can actually, every time she makes it back there. Oh man, when she does make it, it's gonna happen. The guy does move. I'm probably like super easy right now because if you make, hey, winner, goal. Wait, she got the ball again. All right, come on, Chris, make another one, back to back. Hey, goal again. All right, can you make it three in a row? Here we go. Hey, three in a row. But yeah, every time she makes a goal, she can press the button and another ball will come out. So now she has another ball. Oh man, oh man, you're mad at that guy. Dang, you hit him right in the face. Hey. <laughs> that was the world's slowest goal, but she made it. All right, she has, oh, you don't have no more time. Oh, time's up. Wait, bonus round. You got a bonus round, make it in there. I don't know what it's doing back there, but you have a bonus round. Oh, come on, Chris, you gotta make it. What the? <laughs> Good thing this was here. Oh, you didn't make any in the bonus round. She got a grand whopping score of four. Are you ready? It's cannonball drop. Okay, so it's just like a, you know, a drop game, plinko kind of in a way, but you have a ball, right? But the cool part, you have a cannon right here and you have to pull the like little fuse to drop the ball. That is pretty cool. I mean, I don't really care for pirates myself personally, but I think that's neat. And as you turn this, it actually will turn the cannon up there. Uh, can you try rotating and see if it moves it? Yeah, see, it's actually moving it. When she moves it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, she's gonna do one more time. Let's see, can she get into one of the bonuses? Because I want to see what the bonus does on this game. All right, whenever you're, oh man, that thing's wiggling. Pull that fuse. That's pretty cool. Bonus, bonus. Hey, bonus. All right, let's see what the bonus actually does. It did count it, right? Oh, please. Oh, yeah, he's mad. Wait, I'm mad if it, it didn't count it. No way, did it not count it? Well, we've sat here for what seems like five minutes and nothing has happened. It didn't even count it when it went into the bonus. Well, guys, look where we ended up back at. Red zombies, ready, jetty, go. Yeah, we're gonna probably end the video playing this game, guys. So, everyone cheer. Team Smudge. What kind of name is Smudge? This time I'm dizzy. Now you're dizzy. You're not gonna win, Chris. You ready for this? Yeah. Grab your balls. Ready, daddy, and go. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, so guys, be sure while we're playing this, leave a comment. Let us know which game was your favorite. Oh, this is definitely one of my favorites. Let's go. We want we want Smudge to win. 
Oh, we did find out. If you can get into the mouth in the back back there, that's a super bonus. But it only opens like during like the super bonus round or something. I don't know when. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm not making it. Oh no, I'm in third place. You guys can see back there that I'm, I'm doing terrible. Uh oh, Crystal's getting tied. Oh wait, I'm in first. How did I get in first? I don't know. Come on. Let's go. Oh, you see the bonus hole? It's open. Oh, it went away. Come on. Wait, who won? Who won? No, it's over. Oh, it's over. Purple one. Coco one. That wasn't us. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed watching us play some new games here at IAPA. Yeah. We got to play more games, guys. We kind of been spending too much time playing games and not recording. <laughs> there were still some games we didn't show you, so we're probably going to end up making another video while we're here. But I don't know if you can count on it because we're going to be playing the games ourselves. But we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure, let us know which game was your favorite. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>